Okay, thanks. And then mm -hmm. on Lebanon, um, Israel's been hitting targets obviously across the country without constraint, including the strike la last week in the northeast that killed 15 first responders. Does the Pentagon still fully support Israel's campaign, or is there is there now movement towards greater pressure on Israel to bring about a ceasefire before the end of this outgoing administration? We um, have said very publicly we support Israel's rights to their uh, self-defense. We've also said very publicly that more needs to be done to ensure that civilians are moved out of the battle space and to lessen civilian casualties. Um, in terms of a ceasefire that, I mean, we have not shied away from the fact that we have, you know, continue to press for this both publicly and privately. Um, you know, more from other folks in the administration. Um, you have seen um, different officials continue to travel to the region to get to a ceasefire. And that was before there was an election. Um, that was before, you know, uh, uh, we had a new incoming administration. This has been an ongoing effort by this administration to secure a ceasefire in the north, and also we want to see a ceasefire in Gaza. Um, we know there are, you know, more humanitarian aid needs to get into Gaza. That's something that we continue to engage on every single day with our Israeli counterparts, um, and you're going to continue to see us do that till the very last day. But I mean, would the would the Pentagon be prepared to use more leverage against Israel to get more aid into Gaza, to get more civilians out of the battle space in Lebanon? Well, we're we're already seeing changes, Tom. I mean, uh, you know. Uh, a f a, I think it was a, f a few weeks ago, um, we mentioned that they have opened the Erez crossing. They've opened that Jordanian corridor again. Um, you're see you are seeing more aid get in. Is it enough? No, it's not enough. We More needs to get in, but we are seeing a change in behavior, and that is because we are continuing to engage. Um, we are using our leverage, and that's why we're seeing some of you know that, that progress moving forward.